us in the place, of course, of Jerry Esplano, who is still injured and is not going to play today. And he's been doing quite well. Replacing, Rick, rather, replacing uh, Gerald Esplana as we look at Bong Alvarez against Virgil Meneses and Lambert Shell. I think he has someone watching him, his inspiration. In the in the Caneta Astrodome, you will be seeing her later. As we saw a miss by Andy de Guzman, the referees for this ball game are referee Rodesma, referee Barrella, and referee Vic Bartolome. Miscommunication on the part of the blue shirts. Ball will remain with the realtors. Well, we remember, Jimmy, that at the last game of these two teams, Bong Alvarez and Rick Rick Marata did not play in that game. Found it. Rick Rick Marata will pass off to Andy de Guzman. Who fakes off. The defense. And the foul committed by Tony Harris. 10 minutes and 49 remaining. No one has scored yet in this ball game. First time these two teams met, Seto Lucia won. Nelson Aceitono tapped it out. You know, these are the two top teams in terms of offense here in the PBA. And somehow you have this feeling that unless these two teams can execute well, as you see this easy slam off a steal by Tony Harris, again, half-court execution will be key in this ball game as well as team rebounding, Jimmy. So, Tony Harris opened the scoring, and Bong Alvarez will even things out right away. So that's the first deadlock of this ball game. 10 minutes and 22 remaining. Tony Harris has been noted for a lot of things in this conference. As De Guzman locked through the distrito, and Rick Rick Marata will miss completely, but saved. Good save by Shell. Limpot will take it in. Oh, yes. Alexandro Limpot has distinguished himself in the semifinals. You have to remember they entered the semifinal round, the last of the five teams, and they won over the heavyweights. After a ball fake, a pass off to Nelson Asaitono, and that will make this ball game tied once again. Well, certainly, Jun Limpot has been the, one of the key players for Santa Lucia. He has stepped up his performance here. 21 points per game as we see a great inside pass to Andy de Guzman, another guy who has picked up his game here in the semis, averaging almost 11 points per game. Apparently, there has been quite a response to the absence of Gerald Esplana. And you know, what's very amazing with the way Santa Lucia has been playing is the fact that they've been only using about eight players per ball game. Some people express some concern there, Jimmy, but obviously when something goes well, especially in your rotation, then you've got to go with it. Of course, one thing that will probably be affecting that is when you get into foul trouble. And let's not forget the major decision that has brought him here to the semifinal round, the acquisition of Lambert Shell. Oh yes, Lambert Shell, I've always said this, is not only a guy who can put up the numbers every night here, but I think he has provided the leadership for this team. Rudy Distrito, the pass back to Verhel Meneses, possible three-point play after the foul with calls. Andy de Guzman commits personal foul number one. Beautiful pass by Distrito, and there you see those two players who exchange teams during mid-season, colliding in mid-air with Verhel Meneses getting the better of that exchange. At the 4.5 meter line, the three-point play is completed. First three points for Verhel Meneses in this ball game. Jun Limpot. The Greg Marata. After the ball fake, finally a pass to Rick Rick Marata is... It was a little over, but then it bounced in, and it favored Marata for his first pair of points. So now Swift is ahead, still, by a point. Eight minutes and five, and Verhel Meneses, it's slapped away by Lambert Shell. Rudy Distrito, in and out. What a rebound by Lambert Shell, really slapped that basketball. Rick Rick Marata, met by Rudy Distrito. 19 on their shot clock, a lot of time. Bong Alvarez, no cutters, there is one. Lambert Shell, 
well taken then the fancy dribble and then the release a little short Harris will snare the rebound Shell was not squared for that shot another outlet pass here Meneses wisely moving out as he was too deep under the basket 11 on their shot clock Nelson as I thought of before the pass off there was I think there was a foul on Berhel Meneses committed on Berhel Meneses <laughs> It'll be on Lambert Shell as he bumped his body on Nelson Asaitono. What's very noticeable here, Jimmy, as he started his first quarter, is that uh, Swift has been taking it in the blue paint and taking it in the gut of the defense of Santa Lucia thus far. Teres Lidania scored off the glass. Seven minutes and nine, and three-point lead for Swift underneath. Bong Alvarez. Well, Harris cannot afford to pick up another foul here. He has already won this. We're only five minutes gone here in the first quarter. We might look at the standings right now in Santa Lucia. We can say they're at the bottom, but they're two games away from the leader as we looked at that conversion by the Swiss Mighty Meetings. But we can't say they don't have a crack at the championship. No, actually, it looked like the magic number of wins would be 12 here, Jimmy, for a team to safely make it to the finals, at least a playoff, assure themselves of a playoff. Santa Lucia may still get that outright, but they're looking at the 5 of 8 incentive rule. And certainly they have the best chances here since they have already picked up three wins. Nelson underneath, right underneath the rim against Lambert Shell. Three-point ball game, Swift is ahead, six minutes. And 12 remaining, we're in the first quarter, Bong Alvarez on the right side, back to the middle, Rick Marata, no steal by Nelson Asaitono. Big foot will not convert, but he will go to the 4.5 meter line. That'll be the first personal foul on Nelson Asaitono. Asaitono was a step late there, trying to check himself after going for a steal. You know, one of the keys in this ball game, I believe, will be Rick Rick Marata. Is Plana, who, whom Marata is replacing in the starting unit, in their last game scored about 24 points and had eight assists in that ball game. Rick Rick Marata has to at least approximate half of that performance if Santa Lucia wants to keep close with Swift there. Zandro Limpot, is he a cinch for Rookie of the Year? We don't have Johnny Alvarez anymore. Alas is not playing the semi-final round. You know, I think it's a safe wager to say that June Limpot is on his way to making Rookie of the Year. Certainly now he's setting his sights for the mythical five selection. And of course, aside from the bonuses in his contract, that's going to be a big honor. But Helmenes says, oh, this time it's all net after two previous misses from that spot. He now has seven points. But Helmenes says, for the Swift Mighty Medes, four-point lead. That's what they have. Rick Marata to Andy de Guzman in and out. And the rebound will be taken by Tony Harris, knowing that Lambert Shell was there. Secured the basketball, passes off to Berhel Meneses. He was right there on the sidewalk of Harrison Boulevard, so that was called outside. We have Point ball game resumes, and you just saw that foul by Alvarez right after that miss. Well, he was trying to go for the offensive rebound there, but he went over the back of Tony Harris. Harris has hardly taken a shot here, and Meneses again being set up by Tony Harris. Kisses it off the glass, and now Swift is on top by six here. And Meneses has nine points. Alvarez, two. Lambert Shell, the crossover dribble, and then in there, and that'll make it a four-point ball game once again. 19-15, Swift is ahead, four minutes, and 37 remaining in this first quarter. Well, you can see, obviously, that both teams are slowing it down. They know the capacity of each team to run and gun, and so far it's really been the team that has been executing well. Another great pass. That's the way Swift has played today. They've moved the ball well, looked for the open man in the blue paint. We're looking at a team playing in the hard court right now. Well, I guess they're being affected by the criticisms that they have not really played as a team here with Tony Harris 
hugging the ball too much. So now they're showing a little bit, or a lot of team effort right now. That's how basketball is. It's spelled, it's T-E-A-M. Without the letter I, as Coach Ron Jacobs would put it. Nelson, as I turn off, now just a foul committed underneath in the blue paint. And still, a short appeal to referee Varela. Here's that good fake by De Guzman. Aceitono will reach in. Well, the reason why he was appealing this case is because that will be his second personal foul. Certainly that will affect Coach Yang Yao's own rotation here. Four minutes remaining. Andy De Guzman, his first shot from 4.5 meter line will go in. He has three points right now. Top scoring for the Swiss Mighty Medes has been Benel Meneses for Santa Lucia, evenly distributed between Alvarez and De Guzman, and then there's the input. Again, Verhel Meneses is making a living from that spot for the Swift Mighty Medes. Well, what's happening now with the Santa Lucia defense is they're trying to make Tony Harris give up the ball and challenge the locals of Swift to make the basket. So far, that has not worked for Santa Lucia, and it has done wonders for Swift. Lambert Shell won it. The baseline didn't get it, and even lost the basketball as well. Santa Lucia, one of the most uh, error prone teams here, averaging about 17 turnovers. Swift, one of the best in forcing the turnovers. Some numbers this early. Swift already with a big advantage in terms of assists. Oh, what a slam! Tony Harris, his fourth point. And that's what happens when you draw the defense several times and passes it off. This time, the defense tried to read it going back on the wings, but Tony Harris took it strong, got the easy slam inside. And the click Marata. Heavy traffic lost it, but there's Bong Alvarez. The miss! Tony Harris sees Rudy Distrito streaking down, and it's stolen by Andy De Guzman. It will be a four-on-two foul oh. committed by Harris. Or Distrito. Yes, it could be on Rudy Distrito here. Big sigh of relief for Tony Harris. Oh, yes, there was that foul, but Harris was... Andy De Guzman, right after the timeout, converted his first charity, also converted his second one. And now it is 25-19. And again, but El Meneses, they're not guarding him at that spot, so he's been making a living. Well, the rotation has been a step late for Santa Lucia. Jun Limpo tried to stretch out on defense, but the spacing of Swift has been magnificent here. This play was executed earlier. Different type of execution. Still successful in eight points for Andy De Guzman. He is top scoring for Santa Lucia. Two minutes and seven remaining in this first quarter. Verhel Meneses over to Saldana. Yes. Very simple play here. I think Swift has really studied their tapes, knowing that the defense would be drawn on Tony Harris. And now Swift is just moving that ball very quickly and looking for that open man. Alvarez. Lambert Shell is well covered by Perry Saldana. So Alvarez wanted to take that pop and lost the basketball, and Tony Harris is on his way. But that is only the sixth point of the import. That's right, but he has also picked up about five rebounds and five assists in this ball game already, and we're only in the first quarter here. The pot will miss. Oh, a strong rebound by Lambert Shell. Follow-up doesn't go. Lambert Shell once again underneath. Oh, yes, the third time around it goes in. Very pugnacious off the board, Lambert Shell looking for a foul. Coach Nat Kanson still very calm despite the eight-point lead erected by Swift here. And while well, Tony Harris was dribbling that basketball, crossing the center line, Asaitono was appealing his case, and he's right underneath. The alley we play didn't work. Lambert Shell streaking down and finds a wall in Tony Harris. There was a foul before that. Could have been on Verel Meneses. Or, yes, it was on Harris. Here's that uh, crossover dribble. Then the sidestep by to uh, Lambert Shell that forced Tony Harris into that foul. 
That will be number two on Tony Harris. So both Asaitono and Harris now with two personal fouls. Not a very good sign, although Swift is still on top here. Lambert Shell with five points in the ball game. <laughs> Rudy Distrito will be replaced by Asol Eslan. We'd like to take this opportunity to greet the Ad Congress people, all the participants of the Advertising Congress. And we hope you're having a nice time right there and enjoying this ball game. Yes, that's Camille. That was Camille, the girlfriend of Lambert Shell. Watching Lambert Shell do his thing here at the hard court. He's been leading Santa Lucia in the semi-final round. In spite of the absence of Gerardo Plana. Illegal defense whistle. That was very clear. Jun Limpot didn't know who to pick up on defense. And he was just roaming around the blue paint. Almost a automatic free throw as we're only 29.4 seconds remaining in the quarter. Six point lead. Time for one play. Tony Harris, Verhel Meneses. Saldana moves over to the other side. Isolation play for Verhel Meneses. It was a handoff to Saldana, who's fouled underneath the rim. Now Swift showing its muscle in terms of their slashing ability here. Every time somebody comes into the blue paint, a lot of the defense is drawn to him. That leaves one or two guys free on the wings. Terry Saldana has been a recipient of those passes and he has delivered already with six points. It was Lambert Shell who committed the foul on Saldana. Second free throw is all net. And it's still a relatively huge lead for the Swiss Mighty Vidis. Underneath, oh, the Guzman bobbled and lost it. Marata, I hope he realizes he has very little time. Lambert Shell! It was a good line towards the hoop, but it didn't go, and it's 30 underneath, and it rooted the trees right beside him, and real a bit fouled him, and he's at the 4.5 meter line. Swift is ahead by eight. Will it be cut down? Yes, with that first charity of Lambert Shell. Well, Zaldi real a bit checked in for Terry Saldana, who played a great first quarter, both offensively and defensively. Lambert Shell. The cornerstone of this Santa Lucia up uprising here in the semifinals. Six point lead for the mighty Meaties. From Al Solis to Tony Harris. From Tony Harris, will it be passed or will it be attempted? Solis to Nelson Asaitono in the paint. The jumper doesn't drop high up for that rebound. But Andy De Guzman and Rick Rick Marata over to Lambert Shell. Very quick transition offense by Santa Lucia. They're down there with Alvarez at low post. Double teamed by Nelson Osaitono. And is it illegal defense? Quite a reaction from Tony Harris. As if he's never heard of the call. Tony Harris will get a warning there. It will be Andy de Guzman right in front of the Swift Mighty Medes bench for the inbound to Rick Rick Marata. Lambert Shell is matched up against Zaldi Ria Lubit. Oh, Alvarez will lose it to the baseline. You know, Alvarez has been forced to a couple of turnovers in, the, in this first half alone. Paul Alvarez a little out of control in a couple of plays there. Certainly Santa Lucia hoping that they can cut down on turnovers and maximize their possession. Here's the double team again. Currently a six-point lead for the Swift Mighty Medes. Almost a steal there by Alvarez. Oh, a triple V for Tony Harris for his ninth point of the ball game. Tony Harris has only made 26% of his three-point shots. A little drop from his previous average in his last conference last year. And certainly Tony Harris trying to get that back in his arsenal as he missed by Lambert Shell. Strong rebound results in a pass off to oh. NSS and possibly a three-point play for the Swift Mighty Midi. There's no way you can stop Verhel Meneses once he gets the ball in the open floor. Very difficult. There you see him glide in the air, kiss it off the glass. 
And once again, Santa Lucia will have to hustle back on defense, pre probably prevent the outlet pass for them not to see these kinds of baskets. But Hermeneses top scored for the Swift Mighty Medes in the first quarter. He had 13-10, missed the three-point play. Andy de Guzman, yes. Quick basket for his 10th point. And getting a basket off the transition there. Still a nine-point lead for the mighty Mitis. So Niharis. Oh, he will lose it. Initiated by De Guzman. Completed by Alvarez. And, and that will be the third foul on Harris. Oh, yes. A bit of second motion when Alvarez was already up there. There you see this play again. Alvarez was about three steps ahead and Harris still trying to intimidate him, reach him with his chest there. Again, those moments of asininities for Tony Harris. Third personal foul and a three-point play completed by Bong Alvarez. 38-32. I like that. Moments of asininities. Nine minutes. And 41 remaining, and oh, oh. Helmenes with some fancy moves. Didn't drop the first time, the second time. As we said, he's been making a living from that spot on the right side using the glass. Yeah, well, you, you have to credit half that basket to Rialupe, who stayed on the play there. Alvarez. Eric Reyes will be called for that foul here. Prevented Lambert Shell. Getting in closer to the rim so he could get a pass from Alvarez. And Meneses has been replaced by Distrito. Meneses played a spectacular first two quarters. Some statistics in the first quarter. 65% shooting for Swift. Santa Lucia only 9 out of 22. It's a foot race. And yes, Tony Harris will win it against Lambert Shell. That will be the 11th point of Tony Harris. A 10-point lead for the Swift Mighty Minis. And... A triple V for Santa Lucia from Andy de Guzman on the other end. You know, for a while I was going to say that Santa Lucia cannot stay at pace with Swift. They cannot force themselves to play at this pace because this is the kind of game that Swift won. Certainly they will have to slow it down here. Rudy will lose it to the baseline. Rudy Di Cerrito. We have 8 minutes and 40 remaining. In the second quarter, Rick Rick Marata, met by Rudy Distrito. Alvarez, after a good head and shoulder fake, gets the basketball and passes off to Zandro Limpot. It hits the foot of Reyes. Or was it Zandro Limpot? Oh, yes. They turn it over. And you know what Nat Canson was saying? Don't put the ball down, he was telling Jun Limpot, because it's very difficult for a big man to go through traffic there, putting the ball on the floor. They give it back to Rudy Distrito. It doesn't go. Zaldi will get it underneath. It is too strong. Al Solis will get it back. Blocked. This is the fourth attempt. Missed. Marata will let go. Oh. Saved. And now Reyes will lose it. Finally to Alvarez who is streaking down and laying up and converting. There was no way Harris was going to come up with a defensive stance there. Harris with from three-point range, almost got it. Tip-off contest for the basketball. Lambert Shell, Rick, Rick Marata, Andy De Guzman. Oh! They lose it to the baseline. Some quick action here from the Cuneta Astrodome. Too much passing that time here. Here's that last play previously. Alvarez with a finger roll of Tony Harris. Trying to force a foul there on Tony. Al Solis is bringing it down. Seven minutes and 27 remaining. Just a five-point lead for the Swift Mighty Midis. He will not get the range from underneath the rim. Ria Lubit. Oh, another pass. That went all right. But Santa Lucia presently has the momentum here. Several opportunities for Santa Lucia to get back into this game. This is the second consecutive turnover. Alvarez flicking it over Andy de Guzman's way, but de Guzman 
not getting the pass as it hit him from behind. Rudy Distrito's shot is short. Al Solis will get a second chance at the basket with his left hand. He will convert. 44-37. Six minutes and 47 remaining. Bong Alvarez against Al Solis. Zandro Limpot is asking for it. Matched up against Eric Reyes. After the triple team, the pass off to Bong Alvarez. The miss using the glass. Swift will control. Tony Harris. All the way. Well, Bong Alvarez will have to offer his body as some kind of resistance here. Tony Harris cannot be allowed to just go by him, especially when the double team is not coming. Lambert shell. Oh, yes, very hard shot here. Almost threw it behind his ear, not looking at the basket. That point for Lambert shell. Seven point lead, the Swift Mighty Midi have it. Harris passes off to Reyes, a foul committed. From behind by Rick Rick Marata. You know, now we wonder why Jun Limpot is the one double teaming. Of course, we'll talk about that. So, an alley of execution by the Swift Mighty Medes. They're still ahead by nine. 48. To 39. Oh, a thud. For Shell and Tony Harris and Lambert Shell is in pain as we look at Zaldi real Lubit on the other end. Swift scores and Shell hasn't gone up yet. And we hope it is not serious. That's a loud thud coming from Lambert Shell and he is still wincing in pain there. We can probably take a look at a replay of what happened moving towards the basket and then maybe his left knee or his left arm yes no call was made there by the referees and there's Lambert shell he's up and about that's a sigh of relief here for everybody oh yes because we could hear the thud from where we were and with the way he was really trying to protect his stomach it seemed like it was a serious serious injury there but they cannot come tougher than Lambert shell here oh yes here, here it is once again they both fell like logs to the floor Lambert Shell has the basketball. Big Guzman will convert from inside the paint. Well, Andy Big Guzman has been keeping aflame the offense here for Santa Lucia. He has big, has been a big scorer here in the first half. Nine-point lead for the Mighty Mitis. Harris, after the ball fake, the pass off to Eric Reyes. Strito is on the right side. On the left side is Zaldi Rulubic. But Harris will nevertheless take the Triple V. He is still perfect from Triple V country. Two out of two so far. Stretching the lead of the Mighty Meaties to 12 with four and a half remaining in the second quarter. Number two. He will convert as if nothing happened. That was his 12 points in the ball game. Well, the problem right now, Santa Lucia, is not really their offense. It's more of their defensive execution. They have not been able to stop the passes inside and the rotation of the ball here. They're still making Jun Limpot double team, and Limpot is a little slow coming back on defense. Oh, a strong rebound by Lambert Shell. And he gives it off to Zandro Limpot for that slam, but Rhea Lubit was left all alone. Oh, good trail by Marata. And Santa Lucia will save it. Lambert Shell again was on the floor, but he will be up as Zandro Limpot will pass it back. 17 on the shot, shot clock for Santa Lucia. You gotta have 
an award here for Lambert Schell. He has been hitting the floor but coming back like a rubber ball here. Lambert Schell with a three-point jumper. A triple B for his 15th point of the ball game. Santa Lucia inching closer. Five-point lead by Swift. Three minutes and 19 remaining. And Shell continues to shake off the pain in his hands here, Jimmy. Only eight seconds on the shot clock. It's lost to Bong Alvarez. On a two on three. A foul committed by Rudy Distrito. You know, a while back, this was a 12-point lead. The lead is down to five because a couple of turnovers and defensive stops here. Distrito will pick up foul number two. We have three minutes and five before the break, and go and knickknacks at the break. An amigo will sneak in on two celebrations: the baptismal party of Al Solis's daughters and the launching of Chotres's new business. As Sandra Report will miss from underneath. Tony Harris will be double teamed. Oh, Rick Rick Manata wanted that basketball. Got the foul. Tony Harris against. Toying Tevez again. Nelson Saitono is right there. Jacanoa didn't let go, and he committed another foul. That is foul number two on Jacanoa. For Santa Lucia, that is the 16 foul. Well, this has not worked for Santa Lucia in terms of defense. When they let the big guy go out to Tony Harris and double team, the big guy's guard. Usually Nelson Asaitono or Terry Saldana gets open in the middle and there's no way Marata can challenge him there. Maybe a change of a guy who will come out should be necessary here for Coach Nat Canzor. The Greg Marata to Toyin Tevez. A foul by Rudy Distrito. Right there in front of referee Vic Bartolome. That will be the 15th foul for the Swift Mighty Medes. That is foul number three. Yes. On Rudy. That's the more significant thing there. A lot of the key players of Swift falling into foul trouble here. Lambert Shell. Bong Alvarez has 19 seconds on the soft clock. There's the double team. Yes. Cross court pass ends up with Rick Rick Marata. Back to Toyi. Tevez. A little short. Oh, Alvarez. Towing the baseline. And then now, Lambert Shell. <laughs> and Shell got entangled with his own teammate, Jack Tanuan, and that's why he was pretty frustrated there. Almost had a three point play. And Distrito will pick up foul number four. Oh, yes, Rick Rick Marata was telling Jack Tanuan, you shouldn't have stopped him. Could have been a three point play. You're now with Santa Lucia, not with Swift. Lambert Shell converting the first charity. Distrito will be replaced by Teroy Albarillo. Welcome to the ball game. Yes, Distrito has to sit down because of four personal fouls. He's much too valuable for Coach Yangal to risk at this stage. Shell completes two free throws and cuts down the lead of the Mighty Meaties to five with only that much time, 48 seconds remaining. Tony Harris, Al Marillo, Al Solis, oh yes, oh, a triple B. And that's what you were saying, they show different faces on their offense, this time they hit it from the corner with a three point jumper, back to an eight point lead for Swift. Well fake and then the pass to Marata, Alvarez over to Jack Tanuan, a little short. Harris was right there. No baseball pass. There will be a baseball pass too. Nelson Asaitono. That was a beautiful catch by Asaitono. Backing, backtracking and then catching it with one hand. Another turnover. Meneses will have an open court shot here. Yes, what a move. Oh, yes. You will see a replay of that maybe later. But right now, that's the end of the second quarter. We'll be back. In the first half alone, Jimmy, Swift had 22 assists. Santa Lucia had only eight. And there you see the absence of Jerry Esplana on the floor. And Nolly, we covered the first game of the semifinal oh, round. Yes. And it was Swift versus Santa Lucia. What was the difference? Of course, Santa Lucia won that ball game. And now Santa Lucia is down here by so much. Well, as, as I said at the top of the coverage, 
Santa Lucia will have to execute well, and that's going to be the key in this ball game. Swift has done it very well here in this first half and here in the start of the third quarter so far. And again, the key figure for Santa Lucia has been Jerry Esplana. Rick Rick Marata has not been able to step into the shoes of Jerry Esplana. Marata has only scored two points so far. Esplana had 24 in that first meeting last November 7th. And I wonder what the assist numbers are with these two teams. Well, that should be very obvious since uh, Swift, or rather Santa Lucia, has only hit, made eight assists in the first half. In that first game alone, Jerry Esplana had eight during the November 7 meeting, so certainly Marata is not doing the job so far here. A foul committed by the Swift Mighty Medes. It was on Verhel Meneses, who top scored for the Medes in the, in the first half with 19 points. One thing missing also from the game of Santa Lucia is the absence of scoring by Sandro Limpot. That's right. Sandro Limpot had 32 last time out. So far, he has only scored five points in the first half. Of course, Andy de Guzman has picked up his performance with uh, 17 points in the first half alone. But that's not going to be enough. They have to get some backward scoring. And more importantly, Santa Lucia will have to pick it up in terms of intensity on the defensive end. 14 points for Avales. Tony Harris against Delantes. He had to do a fall away and it drops in. That will be his 23rd point of the ball game, Tony Harris. And the swift lead has ballooned. Well, it's very obvious that the adjustment that was made by Nat Canson is to play Tony Harris straight up. One-on-one -on -one defense, nobody trying to help out. So far, it has not worked as Tony Harris has burned them with a couple of baskets here. Lambert Shell with a good turnaround jumper. Still a 14-point lead for the Mighty Meaties. Again, Tony Harris. Continuation will be called and a foul committed against him. When you have a guy who's on the open floor from the top of the key and will be able to bring it all the way to the basket, you're not playing defense at all here. Tony Harris has done that a couple of times. Possible three-point play. Delantis picks up foul number two. And that also was team foul number two for Santa Lucia Realty. Harris will convert from the 4.5 meter line. Timeout is called by Santa Lucia. A no conversion by Limpot, some fancy dribbling and a recovery by, no, it's a steal by Santa Lucia. Unselfishly, Adi de Guzman hands it over to Alvarez. Score, 74-59, as if Mighty Medes are ahead. Harris has the basketball, he is directing play for the Medes. Good defensive job by Alvarez, there was a free Saldana right there. On the sideline inbound, the receiver is Tony Harris. Eight seconds on the shot clock for the Swift Mighty Medes. Saitono only has four seconds. Solis has two, and it doesn't drop, but Saldana is right there. Great offensive rebound by Terry Saldana as the shot clock was winding down here. Back to a 17-point lead for Swift. Rick, Rick Marata. Hasn't gotten a share of the scoring tonight for Santa Lucia, and neither has Sandro Limpo. 15-point oh. lead. During the timeout, Jimmy Max Delantes was removed from the hard court and replaced by Paul Alvarez. In the meantime, De Guzman will pick up foul number four here as he tried to play. Tough defense on Tony Harris. He will have to sit down. And Toying Tevez checks back in his place. Taking turns at Tony Harris, Toying Tevez, and previously Andy Guzman, and then for a while Delantes. Verhelmeneses. 
This is a good matchup. Both high flyers here. What a pass. 2 Nelson to Saitono and a nice finish to that assist pass of Vinicius. Swift continues to move the ball and look for the higher percentage shot here. And that's why their scoring percentage has also improved. Another getaway this time by Jun Limpot. Left alone in the candy store and he made a slam. And a turnover. Yes. By Swift. So this could be a possible momentum grabber for Santa Lucia. There you see that slam a while back from the baseline. Lipot making sure gave it to Alvarez far out. Inside the paint. It's a follow-up by Sandro Lipot. And who calls the timeout? It's the swift Mighty Midi. Really bad. It was an attempt at an alley-oop, but then when he landed, he took the shot right underneath the rim. Excellent pass coming off Harrison. Now an excellent layup for Lambert Shell. But you know, Santa Lucia cannot afford to just straight baskets here. They've got to come up with some stops. Coach Yenga called a timeout because he wants to remind his boys that, hey, we, we cannot let the momentum go. We're on top by 13 here. Underneath, again, Santana. He missed that one. Alvarez on a three on four. Oh, a bad pass by Alvarez. Wasted an opportunity there. And this is to Al Solis. What a switch from right to left. That's a great move from Al Solis. Off a good pass coming from Meneses. Tevez forced into that pushing foul. That's number one on Toying Tevez. All the experience of so many years of playing basketball here in the PBA. Usually, you, you won't expect to push from behind, but when he got the pass, he somehow knew that there was someone behind him and switched the ball from his right to his left hand and almost converted. Originally drafted by Shell, of course. An offensive rebound and a foul here. Oh, yes. That'll be on Lambert Shell. Foul number three. Al Solis has been a vital cog of the Swift Mighty Meaty squad. We could call him their go-to guy in situations. The team from a champion team, from a, a regular team here in the PGA. You've got to have a marquee player, a guy you, you go to at the clutch, a go-to move, as they say, if you want to be a powerhouse team in the PGA. And you look at Pure Foods, they got, you know, po low post player in Patrimonio, and of course Swift, has Tony Harris, Nelson Asaitona, and Al Solis to really go to when the chips are down. And now, of course, Jun Limpot is starting to become that kind of a player for Santa Lucia. Labrichel got it from Limpot. It doesn't drop. Foul committed by Saldana. It'll be foul number two on Terry Saldana. Lambert Shell not known very much for his le leaping ability, but look at the way he moves his feet there. Getting off those uh, sandwiches and still gets up a shot. He goes to the free throw line, gets the first free throw. 83% free throw shooter is Lambert Shell. From the field. Swift is 7 out of 8, Santa Lucia is 7, seven out of 9. That's why this game has been well played so far, although Swift has really dominated it. Alvarez is cutting the middle, then he passed off to Lambert Shell. Picking it up, Rosandro Limpot, and it's a possible 3 point play for the rookie. Limpot picking up the loose ball off a tap by Nelson Asaitono. And the rookie knows what to do. When he's inside. The pot only had five points in the first half. He now has 11. Now that's the other amazing thing with Jun Limpot. He's starting to begin, he's starting to know how to pace himself here in the PBA. It used, there used to be a time when he would really take it by himself in the first two quarters and then lose steam in the fourth. Now he's beginning to pace himself well and dominate in the late quarters as you see another offensive foul. Cost by Limpot trying to challenge in midair. We were just talking about him and it was an excellent piece of defense displayed by the rookie. 
Watch this again. He will not grab for that basketball. He was just put, will just put his hand in front of the rim. And that's the kind of respect that Limpot gains here. And he's given by the imports. They know his shot blocking ability. They know his talents. And certainly Jun Limpot has come of age here. Lambertchell. Double team. No one to pass to. Oh, there's Toying Tevez. Well, Toying Tevez was there for about three days. The pass was not getting to him, but he waited and he was patient. Lead is down to nine here. Toying Tevez will foul Tony Harris before Harris crossed the center line. Tevez commits foul number two. And that is team foul number six for Santa Lucia. Five minutes and 32 remaining. We're in the third quarter of this ball game. The open lane for Harris. At that time, he got the momentum he needed to get him elevated with athleticism. Lead is back to 11 here. Some admirers of Noli Ayala on our screen right there. That, that was Ding, ding Dong of the Sado, I believe. And Tevez will miss. Oh, Alvarez is able to fish for that foul underneath. Very creative in the air. Alvarez knew that somebody was behind him. After he picks up an offensive rebound, he goes the other way, uses his body and his leaping ability to get up the shot and pick up a foul. Just 11. And a chance to chop it down for Alvarez. First one goes in. Big story of 1993 also is Paul Alvarez. Of course, he had to sit out a couple of conferences before finally agreeing to a Santa Lucia offer. Misses the free throw, but gets his own miss. Puts it up. Oh, too strong. No foul that time. Nelson Asaitono. Oh, one-hander of a ball fake, and then he went in. 12-point lead. Lambert Shell is double team. He gives it back to Regrek Marata. Marata to Zandro Limpot. Fall away. And there's Alvarez. There was a push right underneath the rim. Could go against Lambert Shell. Or was it Toying Tevez? Well, this is a shot that Santa Lucia expects Limpot to make here. Fadeaway jumper, line drive there. A little strong. And there's the push underneath by Toying Tevez to get Tony Harris out of the play. So Santa Lucia still not being able to exploit the momentum that they gained a while back. Lead is back to 12 here. Harris wanted to go to the left. Excellent double team by Zandro Lipot, but he committed the foul. This is a good call by referee Bartolome. At the first instance, Lipot had the ball, but then he put his hand down. Watch his play. There, that, there was still no call there. Then finally Limpot puts down his right hand and that's where the foul was called. On the nape of Tony Harris. Mr. T. <laughs> 29 points for Harris. Remember, both teams are coming off victories against Pure Foods. Of course, Swift had a big morale booster there with an overtime win against the Hot Dogs two nights ago. Or three nights ago, rather. Zandro Limpot. It's Nelson Asaitono on him and also Reyes. Foul committed by Nelson Asaitono. That was foul number three for Nelson Asaitono. 17 fouls now for the Swift Mighty Medes. Meneses is replaced. Well, this brings more shooting from the outside. Of course, less ceiling. But Swift is safely ahead by 14 right now. Rick, Rick Marata on a running jumper from the strike. He has picked up his scoring, Nelly. That's right. We can't, we can't overstress the fact that Marata has to score. Key is the key here because then the defense underneath will be freed a little bit more for the big man of Santa Lucia. So it's the Rudy Distrito. It was a handoff. The benefited was Reyes. He was not even the option, but the ball just went his way. Labrichel. 
picked up by Eric Reyes. Now, Zandra in fourth. No move from Nelson Saitono. Even a hand on the face of Zandro Limpot. And Limpot now has 14. 3 and 14 remaining as well here in the third quarter. Santa Lucia hanging on. Swift with a 12 point lead. It'll stay that way. Marata to Alvarez. Using the glass, it didn't crawl in. Asaitono to Harris. Three on three. Harris will take the shot. 11 assists and 32 points for Tony Harris. Well, again, Santa Lucia will have to be wary about being lured into that running game. One on one play. Asaitono against Limpot. And Limpot again gets the way, gets the basket to the big man, starting to really deliver the goods here. Seemed like a new studied move by Zandro Limpo at that time. Well, every day this young guy is really revealing a lot of moves. Harris moving to the right. Just too strong for Toyin Tevez. Oh, yes. And that was all the defense Toyin Tevez could muster. Well, right he played here. excellent defense here. Put his hands up. Went up with Tony Harris, but Harris was just overpowering underneath. Oh, yes. And you've got to look for somebody really to match up against Harris, especially when he gets the ball underneath. Very honest defense by Toy Tevez. But in spite of that, Harris at the stripe and getting his 35th point. And he is only two rebounds away from a triple-double here tonight. 15-point game. Oh! His own version of a possible three-point play on the other end. Alvarillo with foul number one. Over the limit, the Swift might immediately. Well, this is what Jerry Espana brings to this ball club. That penetration for a small guy, trying to force the guards of the defensive team to play honest defense and not double team down low. Marata has to do that much more here. Completes a three-point play, and he cuts down the lead of Swift to a dozen points. Two minutes remaining in the third quarter. Marata scoring five points in this quarter. It has changed the complexion of the ball game. Rudy Distrito to Tony Harris, a cut by Reyes. Saitono Alvarillo. And Reyes can't grab that pass. Oh, Limpot two hangers this time. Great pass by Lambert Shell. Lead is down to 10, but that was keyed off a turnover. Good rotation that time by Shell, reading the play. Another turnover here. Alvarez leading the break to Santa Lucia. Rick Rick Marata over to Lambert Shell. Only against three defenders. Another chance at an offensive. Alvarez is blocked and fouled by Reyes. Well, Swift got caught napping on defense, particularly Tony Harris. He's not yet in the picture here. That's why they were outnumbered. Reyes forced into that foul. So Harris cheating on defense, and Alvarez has an opportunity to make him pay. A minute and nine seconds remaining in this third quarter. The offense of Alvarez has picked up. This is, this is the time when you, your pulse is really running high and you've got to be able to control that in order to take good free throws. In the meantime, Eric Reyes has been relieved by Terry Saldana. 18 for Bong Alvarez. Lead is down to 9 here from a high of 17 with a minute remaining. Harris, there's that double team and then Saldana is underneath again, the possible alley-oop play. Well, that's the difference now with the Santa Lucia defense as there are only nine seconds in the shot clock. Alley-oop play. Short in the execution by Tony Harris. Lambert Shell is telling Zandro Limpot, let's slow things down a bit. Post up against Nelson Asaitono. Oh, what a goal! 
And somehow, the lack of an effort to defend against him, what made that slam more spectacular? Well, that was why Lambert Shell was saying, look, post down low, you can take this guy. Reminds you of Hakeem Olajuwon there. Rudy Distrito, oh yes, the fireman at this point. Well, that's the experience of Rudy Distrito. He knows when to take the shot. He has not taken a lot of shots here tonight, but when it's needed, he comes to the rescue. Lambert Shell. Very little time. Short. Harris. And Marata. Yeah. Oh, beating the buzzer. And that's it for this third quarter with Swift enjoying only a seven point lead. For the fourth quarter, a move by Tony Harris to increase their lead. And on the other end, retaliation by Lambert Shell for Santa Lucia. Well, this is the payoff quarter. Both teams know the importance of stepping up their intensity on defense here. Alvarito starting out the fourth period for Swift. Excellent defense by Santa Lucia. Lambert Shell almost loses. it. Then there's the open lane, but he will hand off to Zandro Nimput, who was fouled on his way to the basket. And Shell is down on the floor again. We've seen that so many times in this ball game. The ability of Lambert Shell to draw the defense allows Limpot to step into the lane there, but the good block by Ria Lubit takes away the three-point opportunity. In the meantime, Alparillo sits down quickly here as Coach Yengel makes an early change. Al Solis is back in the game. I'd like to greet our friends, currently attending the 13th at Congress at Subic Bay, and we hope you enjoy the Faces Disco tonight. A minute has passed in this fourth quarter. Zandro Lipot picked up his score in the third, and it has been a ball game since then. Well, he has hit 17 points out of the 21 or 22 here in the second half. Another guy who has stepped up his performance is Marata, as you see some numbers. Swift, six turnovers, most of those coming into the last five minutes of that third quarter. All alone, he missed it. With a vengeance. Alvarez is streaking down against three. He lays up oh. and he converts it. And that will be his 20th point of the ball game. And don't look now, Jimmy. The lead is down to three here. Swift severely challenged. And they're losing a little of their composure right now. Tony Harris. There's that double team again. Zaldiri Lubit. Eight seconds now for Tony Harris. But he will pass off on a cross-court pass. Ends up with... Harris once again. That's a 25 second violation as the shot is not going in. So an opportunity for Santa Lucia to inch closer. Coach Yang Yao showing a look of concern now. They were up by 17 a while back. Lambert Shell against Terry Saldana. Lipop is also asking for the basketball. Shell from Arata against Saldana and Distrito. It trickles in just a one point ball game. Yes, and a timeout call. Tony Harris on the drive to the basket is fouled by Toyin Tevez. Well, Tony Harris now taking matters into his own hands here. Driving strong. Tevez hanging on to him. One more, on, only one more rebound away from a triple-double tonight. 38 points Tevez. for the Hurricane. And Tevez finally gets his rest. He played well during his brief stint on the floor, trying to check Tony Harris. Andy Guzman is back in the ballgame. 
So it's now 102 to 99. What was once a 17 point lead has been reduced to just three. Well, for one thing, Swift has fallen into a lot of turnovers in this second half. Another is that the intensity of the game for Santa Lucia has changed, particularly with Limpot and Marata starting to score here. Limpot would like to take on Zaldi, but it was almost stolen. Andy de Guzman, nice fake against Nelson Asaitono. It's back to a one-point ball game. That's instant offense for you coming off the bench. De Guzman sat for quite some time, but still was able to play coming into the game. Solis taking it strong, forced the shot, and here's the outlet. Alvarez to Marata to De Guzman. Who has the lead? Santa Lucia. It has been a tedious process for the real first. But they're up. The crowd here at the Peneta Acidome has become a Santa Lucia hometown crowd. Menezes. A miss. Lambert Shell. This time he will slow things down. You know, that's not the kind of shot Menezes took in the first half. Ill advised three point jumper here. The miss by Limpot. Baseball pass to Al Solis. It will be one on one. Oh, Marata almost pulled that. But Al Solis, but he will commit the foul. That was foul number three on Rick Marata. Let's take a look at it again. Was it a ball or the arm? Well, it certainly looked like from that angle that Marata had a piece of the ball. Nonetheless, Solis has given two free throws. Marata has played without relief in this ball game, Jimmy. There you see Nat Canson, a miracle worker here. Oh, as we were saying, their go-to guy, Al Solis, he gets back the lead for the Swift Mighty Medes. Still a lot of time remaining. Eight minutes in this fourth quarter. Alvarez. Oh! A possible three-point play for Bong Alvarez and Santa Lucia Realty. Well, we saw Solis signaling to his teammates, you've got to close the lane. You have to step into the defense there. They allowed Alvarez too close to the basket, and he has exploded with those numbers. Paul Alvarez averages about 21 points per ball game. And he makes the three-point play. Gives Santa Lucia a two-point lead. Some numbers early in this fourth quarter. There you see the almost perfect shooting of Santa Lucia. Nice handoff. Tony Harris from Verhel Meneses. Well, Meneses has struggled here in the second half. So he's now playing a little bit of decoy. But he's still got a score. The last time this ball game was tied was at 106 all because now <laughs> Lambert Shell just converted underneath. Well, prior to 106 all, it was at 6-6 six and six back in the first quarter. Oh, yes. Aliyup. Zaldi Rialubit. Lambert Shell again on the floor. The foul will be committed by Shell. That will be foul number four on Lambert Shell. Strong move by Zaldi Ria Lubit. Challenging inside. He knows he has the height advantage. Zaldi first lowered his shoulder and then on the second move under the rim. He got the foul, but he didn't get the first charity. You know, Nat Kansan has again used only eight players in this ballgame, Jimmy. Another credit to his Coaching wizardry here, especially in the semifinals. One point lead for Santa Lucia, 7 and 15 remaining in the fourth. New kids on the block, battling the defending champions. Head to head, leading by one. And there's Andy de Guzman. Blocked by his own board. Four seconds on the shot clock. Nice pass from Bong Alvarez to Lambert Shell. I don't know if it's the side of the floor, Jimmy, but every time they shoot on that side of the, the other side of the floor, they've been able to really get the ball inside and somehow the team has been catching up in terms of assists here. Double team on Harris. Great move. Oh yes, 
First, the double team by Zandro Limpot. Then Lambrichel will pick up Harris, but he used his left hand and used the glass. But they're still down. Shell has to be careful not to pick up five personal fouls. There's still a lot of time remaining in this ball game. Lambert Shell, Zandro Limpot against Zaldi. Moving to Only the two and a half conferences old, and he's learned so many lessons. Zandro Limpot. In that play, you saw Limpot way out in the three-point line. Certainly, he's not going to take that kind of a shot. And so Rio Lubit must step back a bit and sag down because Limpot likes to drive, especially going to his left there. Limpot only had five points in the first half. Pick up, picked up the scoring and scored 15 in the third. Well, he's beginning to show his numbers last November 7. He had 32 points in that winning game against Swift. 32 points, 9 rebounds, and 2 block shots. He now has 24 tonight. Harris to Meneses. Oh! Lambert Shell wanted that basketball. There you see Verhel Meneses, 19 points in the first half, but in this second half, he has not made a field goal and a good steal off the inbound. Lambert Shell once again breaking up the play. Talk about leaders at Lambert Shell at Santa Lucia. They're in the thick of this fight in the semifinals. On a one-on-one, -on -one, Lambert Shell against Tony Harris. Fall away. That's not his shot a little there. Little short. Guess who follows up? 26 points for the rookie. You know what's happening now with Swift is that they're standing around looking at Lambert Shell. Nobody putting up too much intensity. Solis with a three-point shot. Again, another miss, and Shell with a rebound. No go-to basket for Al Solis and the Swift Mighty Medes. Santa Lucia has increased their lead to five. Look for a timeout here if Santa Lucia will make a basket for Swift. Sandro Limput again against Saudi Rilubit. After the fake, the use of the glass. Completely missing the rim. Tony Harris is streaking down against the small Rick Rick Marata and Lambert Shell again the left-handed layup. That's a big basket for Swift there. First a stop on the other end and Tony Harris coming up quickly with the two points. Lead is down to three, four and 44 remaining. Hard-earned three-point lead for Santa Lucia. Oh yes. <laughs> Andy De Guzman, Lambert Shell. Four on the shot clock, Sandro oh. Limpot. Everybody, everybody expected a slam. He used the rim to shield off the defense. Look at it. Aiming for the slam right here. Using the rim to shield off the defender in, those, in uh, Verhel Meneses. Then he's at the stripe. He can play power, he can play finesse. What else can this guy do? Almost everything, Jun Limpot with a big, big production here in the second half. Possible three-point play, and he completes. Lead is back, or up now to six, the biggest lead for Santa Lucia. A very convincing five-point lead, another six-point lead. You know, the movement of the ball now for Swift seems to be a little slower than the first half. That's why you know, they're not getting good shots as I thought of powering himself to the basket gets two points a four-point ball game Marata to Bong Alvarez the cut by Marata the cut by De Guzman Alvarez over to Lambert Shell the fake and then the drive yes it has been a thinking ball game for the Santa Lucia Rio. Oh yes, we're back at court side and Santa Lucia just blew its lead and Swift has it back. Well, for a while Santa Lucia's focus was a little off there. They had a lapse in concentration and Swift took advantage of a couple of easy layups for Tony Harris. As you take a look at the timeout story, only or two timeouts left for both teams. Both teams still has or still have two fouls to give here. Inbound for Santa Lucia. 
has been a successful pressing defense for the Swiss Mighty Medes. Still a lot of time. 17 on the shot clock. Alvarez will sky and get it tied all over again at 124 all. Now this is where you have to execute defensively or offensively. Bevis can still give up a foul here. Trying to vex Tony Harris now. What a move from Tony Harris. Got the really foot. Just let go. Lambert Shell will lose it. Asaitono. Foul. Toy Tebes with his left arm. His right arm intended for the ball. The left arm intended for Toy Tebes. Look at this. There's the left arm. Good call by referee Varela. And that's a very big call there. 16 foul for Swift. A timeout called by Santa Lucia. We'll do that. Swift enjoying a two-point lead. But Santa Lucia has the basketball. Well, let's review the situation here. Swift is still one more foul to give Santa Lucia only with five team fouls. So both teams not hit in the penalty, but Santa Lucia has only one more timeout to call. Two more timeouts for Coach Yang Giao. That's There's the guy who has really brought back Swift here after falling down by six or falling behind. Now Swift is on top by two. However, Santa Lucia has possession. Jun Limpot, the key figure in this second half upsurge for Santa Lucia. But then again, it's still a long time remaining here. 41 seconds remaining. This is the tying offensive for Santa Lucia if they convert. Rick Rick Marata. Toying Tevez, Lambert Shell. 10 seconds on the shot clock. Lambert Shell cuts inside. Oh! Exclamation point. 37 for Lambert Shell. Again, it's tied. And there's this timeout. The assumption was a full court press and then just a split at the bottom to get that basketball over. With that much time remaining, only 23.7 seconds, they can afford to take the last shot here. There you see the situation. Swift has only one more foul to give, but Santa Lucia can use those two fouls that they can give up wisely with that much time remaining. Tony Harris certainly will be the focus of attention. Al Solis, look at the time remaining. Oh, Toy Tevez will foul Tony Harris. That cuts about seven seconds from the game clock there. And Tevez will foul out of this ball game. Honest defense all throughout the ball game against Tony Harris. And Max Delantes has been chosen by coach Nat Canson to check in with only 18.5 seconds. He is coming off the bench. Very cold here. Oh, yes. Eighteen point five seconds. This ball game is tied. Meneses has the basketball. Al Solis is a dangerous man, but he didn't go all the way to the basket. Remember this. Santa Lucia can still give up one more foul here. Tony Harris. Only that much time remaining. Oh, he slips. But there's Al Solis, the go-to guy. They don't get it. And, ladies and gentlemen, it is tied after 48 minutes of play. Overtime. We'll be back. Jimmy. Yes, there was this. And then uh, this will be the second time that Santa Lucia will go into overtime. The first time was against San Miguel, and they, I believe they had three overtimes then. Well, what this, this. what this overtime does for Santa Lucia is it allows them now perhaps to bring back... Oh! Andy de Guzman, as you see, a great drive again by, Limpo, or by Harris and fouled by Limpot. Zandro Limpot commits only his third foul of the ball game. 
going to be very important to take a jump start here, and that's what Tony Harris had in mind with his drive. Again, we talked about Andy De Guzman. He was, or he was slapped a deliberate foul with warning, and he had to sit down for three minutes so he can come back at about the three and a half minute mark. Hopefully, Santa Lucia will be able to use him. Right now, they've had to go with Max Delantes on the floor for them. To play defense also against Tony Harris. Lambert check and pass off to Bong Alvarez. Delantes will get it. Shell will have to scramble for that. Basketball recovers. Eight seconds on the shot clock. The put underneath. Yes, using the spin on the basketball on the glass. So good recovery from Lambert Shell. It's a one-point lead here. For the Swift Mighty Medes. Because of a three-point play by Tony Harris. Nice spin move. They will almost lose it to the sideline, but there's Al Solis in the handoff to Nelson Asaitono. And this will be the second consecutive three-point play opportunity for Swift now. Swift showing a lot of poise here in the overtime. Great pass from Solis. And there you see the inexperience of Delantes trying to challenge when Asaitono had the momentum. 131, 128, Asaitono at the stripe. 132, 128. Four point lead for Swift. Rick Rick Marata. Oh, he drives in. Oh. Didn't drop though. And that will be the sixth personal foul on Dong Distrito. Marata with a very smart move in and out, then finally takes it to the basket. Almost had a three-point play. Distrito will leave this ball game permanently. Yes, went out on a nudge. <laughs> a very subtle nudge with his knee. And Pero Alvarillo will go in for the Swift Mighty Midis. Well, that's very small unit on the floor for Swift. Not a very good rebounding unit as well there. Marata cans the first free throw. He has played without relief in this ball game. All net. A second swish. Two-point lead. Three minutes and 53 in overtime. They want an isolation for Meneses now. Oh, he was fouled before he could attempt. <laughs> Rick Rick Marata, foul number four. And also the second team foul for Santa Lucia. Only one for Swift. Both teams with a full complement of two timeouts here in the overtime period. Quite a good foul by Rick Rick Marata that time. This allowed Meneses from taking that shot. As Harris again for a possible three point play on. Is it Zandro Limpot? Yes. And that's number four on June Limpot. Well, Limpot stepped into the lane, but he just comes up with token resistance. You've got to put up a stronger defense there if you want to try and deny even a three-point play opportunity. This is the third consecutive three-point play for Swift now, which is completed by Tony Harris, and they up their lead to five. Lambert Chell will control things. Santa Lucia. It's Tony Harris. With some help from Al Solis, it doesn't go. Tony Harris says, not me. But it was Harris with foul number five. Here's that play again. Lambert Shell, low post play. A little nudge inside. Harris is caught. And now Andy de Guzman gets his opportunity to check back into the game Delantes is replaced Delantes had to get into the ball game when Toying Tevez fouled out and there was no other guy that coach Matt Canson could rely on since Andy De Guzman was in the forced freezer there and if Lambert Shell converts this one Santa Lucia will just be a three-point play away from the Swift Mighty Midi. Well, they have to be able to defend against Tony Harris. They've got to force him to pass off. Again, Harris will take it. Finally gives it up. And Alvarillo can't it. 
Ice water in overtime. Terroy Albarillo. That's a big basket from the rookie. And Harris will foul out now. On an effort by Lambert Shell. No, it could go against. Albarillo is called for the foul. So that saves Tony Harris. Let's see it again. There's the reach in, and Harris asking or taking the charge there. But what a big sigh of relief for the Swift fans here. Earlier, when that same situation happened, two loud thuds were heard on the floor of the Conetta Astrodome. But that was, I believe, in the first half. Yes. And Lambert Shell didn't indulge this time, and he got the foul from Terro El Barillo. With the last line of defense, Tony Harris. Shell converting the first one, also the second one. 41 points for Lambert Shell. Well, this game is far from over. It's only a three-point game. Santa Lucia continues to hang on now. There's the double team. Pero El Barillo. Will he take the shot or will it be Varel Meneses? There's this isolation play against Zandro Limpot. Inside to Harris. Rejected by Lambert Shell. Alvarez taking too much time with that basketball, but nevertheless fouled by Al Solis. Great timing on the part of Lambert Shell on the other end of the floor to start a possible fast break. Harris still complaining underneath. Here's that play. Harris thought he was all alone, but no way. Harris blocked by Lambert Shell. Lambert Shell what? Lambert Shell once again. 20 on the shot clock. Lambert Shell posted up. Pass inside. The crick. Oh, what a move. Rata. From his bag of tricks. And Meneses is right on top of him. Lead is down to one now. Harris all the way to Albarillo once again. This time a drive to no one. You know, a while back, Albarillo was willing to take that shot. That's where the inexperience comes out. He was wide open, but he decided to take it in. Not too confident with his jumper. Oh, Rick, Rick Marata has to be careful. Lambert Shell once again, their go-to guy. Well, they're trying, they're trying to put, give it to Lambert Shell because Harris is my personal fouls now. Eight seconds on the shot clock. Rick, Rick Marata has six. Alvarez has four seconds and the conversion. And last two minutes, I did say no. And Emperor Brandy, Tito Tayo, so the two. Patrick is one. Watching this game. Yes. Enjoying overtime here at the Cuneta Astrodome. Well, this is a great pair of games today. First, this one already in overtime. Of course, the next one, the big confrontation, San Miguel versus Pure Foods. Or shall we say overtime, Snowy? <laughs> we'll soon find out, though, that much time remaining. You saw the situation a while back. Both teams already in the penalty. Choi Estrada has checked in for Teroy Albarillo. Is this isolation for Verhel Meneses? Oh, there is Choi Estrada. Very carefully. And missing. And you know, it's really been that position that the street of vacated that has hurt the Swift ball club here in the overtime. Rick Rick Manata. Oh, a mismatch. Lambert Shell versus Choi Estrada. There's no double team here. And Shell will get the basket. Almost hit a basket there. Let's see. It's an illegal defense call prior to the shot. But honest defense, though, by Choi Estrada. Well, Lambert Shell had the height advantage. No double team coming on the part of the Swift defense. Illegal defense called against Verhel Meneses. This free throw and then possession for Santa Lucia. Remember, they are leading by just one. Make it two. He must be happy. Camille. A quick substitution being injected by Coach Yang Yao. Estrada is replaced by Terry Saldana. Santa Lucia has been perfect from the line. 13 out of 13 in this ball game. They're on top by two now. Big Rick Manata to Lambert Shell once again. 
their go-to guy has been Lambert Shell, but now maybe it's Zandro Lipot's turn. Fine move by Jun Limpot. That spin towards the baseline. Saldana forced into that foul. Fourth foul on Terry Saldana. There's that spin. Caught him in the body. Santo Lucia lost their composure early in the ball game was nowhere. Found it in the third quarter. Lost it for a while in the last two minutes of the fourth. As we saw that ball crawl. Lady Luck continues to shine for Jun Limpot now. 32 points matching his production the last time these two teams met. Aided by somebody it's English. Time brought to you by Union Bank, the strong union. That much time remaining. More importantly, Swift has no more timeouts to call. A four-point lead for Santa Lucia. There you see the situation. Both teams in the penalty. Santa Lucia preserving their two timeouts. Very important possession now for Swift. Tony Harris. Oh, a four Everybody shot and a good block it. by De Guzman. Lambert Shell controlling things for Santa Lucia. In that loose ball situation. Andy De Guzman. His minutes revived because of the extension. It's fouled by Al Solis. But a very bad shot taken by Harris. Let's watch it again. He was immediately double teamed, yet he forced a three-point shot here. And De Guzman just timed his jump there. And converts from the stripe. So many heroes for Santa Lucia. This, of course, one of them. Big numbers again for Andy De Guzman. 22 points, but he came in at the right time for... Santa Lucia, now they're on top by six. Only that much time remaining. Al Solis. Good fake against Andy de Guzman. Al Solis was able to get the foul. The goodbye foul of Andy de Guzman. He knew it. Took his jersey out, went to the bench. He will be replaced by Delantes once again. 34.2 seconds. A six-point lead to charities from Al Solis. What do you think, Mr. Ayala? Well, right now, you know, Santa Lucia is certainly going to look for Swift giving up those fouls and stopping the clock. So they probably are talking about taking their time. As Al Solis, ironic that he is going to miss his first free throw. They're the ones that need it. The second charity goes in. The timeout is called once again. We'll be back. This is going to be very important in terms of the inbounds. Of course, Swift trying to force a turnover to cut down that lead. It's a five-point lead, and Santa Lucia is only 34 seconds away from notching their fourth win here in the semifinals. So who's missing Jerry Esplana? That's right. The inbound. This is very important. They've got to have it inbound. And Shell will get it. Asaitono on the deck, getting it in the kisser. And then, uh, second motion by Al Solis. Let's see what happened. Lambert Shell was really asking for it. He goes up for it. There's Al Solis, bumping. Lambert Shell, was it Nelson Asaitono who hit Al Solis? Might be. But Lambert Shell, yes, has been perfect from the strike. Well, this is not the guy to foul now. He makes his first free throw. That could be it here. Remember, Swift has no more timeouts to call. With only about a half a minute remaining. Santa Lucia, the miracle team here in the semifinals, Jimmy. Yes, you think that they've been playing for several conferences in the PBA. This is only their third. Al Solis, a three-pointer. Doesn't go. Harris is left alone to convert. Only that much time remaining. Lambert Shell almost lost it. With an eye on Al Solis after that foul by Solis. Solis with a goodbye foul. Well, Solis had the opportunity to 
end this ball game during regulation. He missed an open three-point shot. Of course, that's not the kind of shot that you want to take as a last shot. But then he was he had the opportunity, just couldn't make it. And Santa Lucia took control of this overtime period only in the three and a half minute mark when Andy de Guzman stepped back into the ball game and took charge of Tony Harris, Jimmy. Oh yes, Santa Lucia playing like a veteran squad. A lot of it is because of this man at the free throw line, Lambert Shell. You know, he has really brought poise into this ball club, a lot of leadership. And certainly, you know, the teammates have been responding to his call. Scrub time for the Swift Mighty Medes. Harris underneath. And he does a Larry Bird. Drops on the other end after he did it. He took a shot from behind the goal. And moving back, fell on the photographers as Choi Estrada. There it is. He's right underneath, right behind, in fact. It almost went in. What you didn't see was his backing away and hitting the photographers. And he found himself on the floor. Well, you know, I think one of the keys in this ball game was that last 18 seconds when uh, Swift had the ball, they could not make Tony Harris take the shot. Good defense played by Santa Lucia, and that really earned them this ball game. It's been a fine ball game for the White Shirts. The Realtors played a spectacular second half. As you take a look at the obviously frustrated Swift bench there. When you look back at the last three minutes of regulation play and you remember the trial of Andy Biggisman, somehow it was a point to his teammates that he really wanted this ball game. Yes. Nelson Asaitono will miss. Verhel Meneses will follow up. <laughs> 